Hey, welcome back everyone. I hope everyone's having a great day. Today we have a very good topic. Should you guys buy booster boxes, ETBs, loose packs, tens? What should you guys buy to make the most back in your investments? Well, let's get into it. So, I have bought all kinds of stuff. Back when I first started, I would just buy anything. I'd buy tens and I'd buy ETBs, I'd buy booster boxes, but I never bought as many booster boxes because they were expensive and I don't know. I was always like, I need to buy a case, you know? I didn't know better. I'd buy a lot of ETBs, a lot of tens. I used to buy a lot of um, collection boxes. Um, I don't think tens or collection boxes are bad. I think they're all good long term. But what is going to make the most money, I believe, is going to be the one and only booster boxes. This is this is the premium of all Pokemon would be booster boxes. If I sat there and I want to buy something and hold on to it, I don't want to go buy 36 loose packs because then the odds are different. You know what I mean? I could pull 10 Charizards from 36 loose packs or zero. When I buy a box like this, there's a pull rate. There's a certain amount of pulls no matter what in each booster box. Each set's completely different, but yeah. So my first thing is if you guys want to take investing serious, try to do booster boxes. Now, if you guys want to rip stuff, there's a lot cheaper options. You can get single packs, you can get, which be careful by the way, because a lot of people do um, resale packs. They weigh them. There's a lot of ways to map packs. So be very careful on that. I would never recommend buying single packs unless you know the person well and, they, and you know they're not going to scam you. Because honestly, that's the world we live in sadly. You know what I mean? I don't approve of it. I think it's very scummy of what people do. But it is what it is. You know what I mean? And I'm here to warn you guys because I don't want you guys to get scammed. Now, second. So when you buy a booster box, you're able to buy one. Or you buy a case of booster boxes. This is a uh, Brilliant Stars. Love Brilliant Stars. I'll get into it one day in another video. But or you can buy a case of them. It comes with six booster boxes. You can find these online, or you can buy them locally. If you guys have stores, they will sell them to you too. Usually, uh, a case will run you anywhere from six hundred dollars to seven hundred dollars for a new set. You're able to find cheaper cheaper sets of Scarlet and Violet right now for uh, cases for about 500 right now so so I also do buy ETBs one second I, I do buy ETBs too but I mostly just buy them for like uh, special sets like Hidden Fates Celebrations um, Crown Zenith stuff like that I really think that's the premium for those um, 151 um, if you're able to get the Pokemon Center boxes, those are the best for ETBs and for holiday sets. Um, definitely recommend those. Now, I do also buy packs. Let me show you just one of my boxes. Um, I do buy packs. I buy, I mean, every time I see Brilliant Stars or Evolving Skies, I do buy packs. So I have quite a few. Um, but yeah, I buy them from people I know. I buy a lot of my stuff on OfferUp, so I'm able to meet up with the person and check out the product. It's very important you do that because if not, people could scam you. That's what it comes down to. Like, if you guys buy on eBay, you guys need to make sure you guys check your check your uh, the reviews and everything else because everyone's broke right now everyone's trying to make money that's the whole world money turns the road you guys and my biggest thing about my channel is I want you guys to succeed I want you guys to be able to invest in Pokemon and in five years from now look back on I made some money you know what I mean good for me you know and like I was telling you guys you guys don't need to get in on cases you guys could buy one booster box or one ETB or five five packs a week 
two packs a week, anything. If you're able to get in on these prices when sets are cheap, while packs are like $3, $4 a pack, and you put them away, take care of them, and they go from three fifty to ten dollars a pack, you made some money. Now you're let's say you bought ten packs for thirty bucks, and in a couple years from now those packs went from thirty to a hundred. You made seventy dollars. Not only did you make money, you it's like a savings account. That's the one good thing about this is it's a savings. And yes, you will have to sell it and pay shipping and you have to pay eBay fees or whatever. I mean, there, but there's ways around that. You can find people locally that want to buy it. Um, there's ways around it. There really is. So that's the biggest thing is being careful of what you guys buy. Now, let's go back to ETBs. ETBs are great. They do take a little more space and they're heavy. That's the big thing about them is booster boxes are heavy too. But they have a premium of 36 packs, and boom. Now when you buy an ETB, it has anywhere from eight to 10 packs, and it's almost the same weight. So you gotta sell three to four of them for the same price of one of these. So me personally, i rather sell one booster box instead of having four. Same with packs. If you guys buy hundreds of packs like I have, I have so many packs. But I buy them mostly just to open for you guys and all that, you know? down the road. I want to stock up and have fun opening Evolving Skies and Fusion Strike, which Fusion Strike's great by the way. Brilliant Stars, you know, all these things I want to open up later on. But if you buy packs for cheap, you're going to have to take care of them. And also, if you have 50 packs of Evolving Skies, you're going to have to sell 50 packs eventually, which, you know, people might buy 5 or 10 or 20 at a time which would be great, you know what I mean? But also people are gonna be buying one, two, three, or four at a time. So you gotta think about volume. Am, am I gonna sell, do I rather, would I rather sell five booster boxes or 50 packs and do 30 trades or five trades? Think about shipping, fees, and time. What is your time worth? As an investment, it has to make sense. Your investment has to be making money because you're putting time and you're putting your money into it. Now, if you wait two years and you break even, yeah, that's not a horrible thing, but that's not what we're going for here. We're going for you guys to make money and build wealth. Remember guys, like every video I tell you guys, building wealth and making money in life is not a race. It's a marathon. You see all these guys that have these really fancy collections and they have all these Watsy boxes and you know they have hundreds of thousands of dollars in Pokemon and you sit there you're like, oh this guy got lucky, he bought them, this and that. A lot of those people have been in the Pokemon market for a long time. They've been in it for at least 10 years and they got in it and they bought these boxes and those boxes sat at a price for a while. These people did not make money overnight, but they believed in it, they bought a product, and they put it aside. You guys could still do that. You, there are so many opportunities right now, but you gotta have a plan. You have to have a plan. Am I gonna buy this? Am I gonna buy that? What am I gonna buy? My top recommendation is booster boxes. And if you guys wanna open anything for fun, you can do ETBs, because they're a lot cheaper or collection boxes. Collection boxes are also fun. And tins, you know, there's gonna be, there's always fun tins you can buy. This is a Hidden Face tin, first print. Um, there's always tins that, are, that go on sale that you could rip it open, get some packs of cheap and, rip, and have some fun. I want you guys to enjoy it also. I think that it's good to rip open packs now and then, you know what I mean? Because one big thing about investing in all this is you have to to like it and believe in it. I have people all the time tell me, if I had $10,000, what should I buy? And I go, well, I'd have, to sit, I'd, I'd have to sit down and figure out what you would want to buy. Second, I need you to understand, I need you to go do some research on this because I don't want you to go spend $10,000 and wait six months, not make any money because it's you, you think it's gonna flip overnight and then get frustrated trying to sell this stuff. You gotta like what you invest in. Investing is not fun. 
if you're if you're having fun investing and all that, yeah, because it's not. You know what I mean? Half the time you buy these items and they sit in a storage or in a closet or they sit in a safe and you don't really look at them. You know what I mean? Um, it is funner when you have booster boxes like this instead of a case because a case is literally just a cardboard box. That's all it is. So when you have singles or even packs, it's fun to look at, but it's also tempting to open. So you guys gotta, you know, you gotta believe in it, and you gotta like it. For Pokemon, you have to like the, you got you gotta be into the cards. Um, so that's my biggest thing is booster boxes over single packs, booster boxes over collection boxes. But there's also sometimes there's some really good collection boxes. So it's not always the same. For how many products Pokemon comes out with, there's always different items and. Sometimes there might be a better collection box than a booster box. Not like it's gonna have 36 packs, but there might be more value that you can make out of a collection box. Because sometimes they have really good promos, maybe they have some really good packs in there for a decent price. There's a lot of variables in it, you guys. So m the biggest thing is make a plan and stick to it. Be consistent, you have to be consistent in investing. You can't invest in a few boxes, throw them in the closet, and be done with it. It's pointless. You got to be consistent. You don't have to. You don't have to go crazy, but you have to consistently invest in these things. If you want to grow a nice portfolio and build some wealth, you have to be consistent. So when you guys look to invest, check out booster boxes. It is a little more of a purchase, a little more money, but long term, you guys will be happy with the investment. So. On that topic, I'm going to let you guys go. I want you guys to have a great day. Be safe. If you guys enjoy the uh, video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, and turn notifications on. And have a good one. Peace.